So you want to build a data visualization. You've got data burning a hole through your pocket, a great idea for a juicy story, and your boss or client are waiting for results. You want to build something that's dynamic, super fast, works great on mobile, is responsive, has maybe interconnected dashboards, and a bunch of really cool things that let users explore their own data in their own beautiful data visualization on the web. So, how do you do that? Well, I remember building my first data visualization, it was way back in 2012, and after a week of struggling and looking through D3 docs, D3 by the way is the data visualization library that you've seen everywhere on the web, New York Times, Guardian, Netflix, 23andMe, all of the big boys are using D3 for their data visualizations because it's literally the best thing out there. But it's so hard to learn. I tried, I remember working on it for a week and all I ended up with was a weak scatter plot that kind of worked but was really sketchy and just I didn't really understand any of the code. I was mostly copy pasting examples. So I have this spaghetti that I copy pasted together from D3 examples of which there are plenty on the web, that's true. And I don't really understand how it works, but you know, it works and my client is happy and I sure hope they never ask me to change anything. Because goddamn, I will not be able to do that. I have no idea how it works. If I give it to a different uh, member on the team, they're gonna look at it and gonna be like, wow, that is, um, it works. I don't know what it does. I don't know how it works. And, you know, you may, maybe you've used the library. Libraries are great, but they have kind of the problem that, yeah, you can get something working really quick as long as it works exactly like the library envisioned. Oh, you wanted to change that margin? Well, tough luck. You're not going to do that because the library author didn't think of that. So what's the real solution here? Well, you're going to have to learn D3. And I think you're already using React because React is everywhere. And honestly, I think combining React and D3 together is the best possible approach you can have for building reusable, scalable data visualization that you can use in all modern projects and that works great across your entire team and everyone can understand.